Now, it is a good question over here which comes in 2020. Two marks problem is there. And here, there is a concept of excess pore water pressure. Whenever we will apply this sudden loading, there will be development of excess pore water pressure if soil is saturated and submerged. Especially when we talk about the fine gain soil, so that permeability is very less. So when we apply this sudden load, so that excess pore water pressure is unable to dissipate out. And that's why we have to consider that in the calculations. So point is to be noted here, this question says, if there is a uh, like 10 meter thick soil mass is there. The soil is preloaded with a uniform surcharge of 70 kL per meter square at the ground level. The water table is at depth of 3 meter below the ground level. Gamma W is 9.81. And question is saying that Q is applied instantaneously. Sudden loading is there. So immediately after the period loading, the effective stress at point P and Q. So now we can say that when we are taking at the point P. So at point P, when we take about the effective stress. So effective stress is equal to total stress minus pore water pressure. So first of all, we have to determine the total stress over here at the point P. This is the point P. So it will be Q plus 3 into gamma bulk. And it will be like 70 plus 3 into gamma bulk. And that gamma bulk is equals to 18. Now when we talk about the pore water pressure, so at point P, hydrostatic pressure is 0. But point is to be noted that excess pore water pressure will be considered. I am assuming this P point, uh, this P point is in silty clay. And when we are talking about this silty clay, the permeability is very less. And that water table is also there. So due to the sudden load, that excess pore water pressure will develop. When this excess pore water pressure is developing, so we can say it's 0 plus. Excess pore water pressure will be same as that of loading and it will be like 70 only. So we can say this is like 70 kilopascal. And hence we can say effective stress is equal to 3 into 18, that is 54 kilopascal. Now point is to be noted if I take this point P in the just above point P, just above point P. So just above we can say that, that, that sandy soil is there and in this sand there will be no excess pore water pressure. So in that case, that excess pore water pressure will not be there. But here, here I am talking about so, uh, point P in soil silty clay. So in this silty clay, we have to consider this. Similarly, when we talk about the at point Q, at point Q, so now we can say the total stress, effective stress will be total minus pore. So total stress will be what? Q plus 3 into gamma bulk plus 4 into gamma set of the silty clay and it will be 70 plus 3 into 18 plus 4 into 20. When we talk about the pore water pressure, so at point Q there will be hydrostatic pressure, there is 4 meter below, so 4 into gamma W plus excess pore water pressure UI and hence we can say that UI will be same as that of loading that is 70 and hence we can say when we will determine the effective stress, so it will be 94.76 kilopascal. So the round figure, this is like 95 kilopascal. And answer will be like C. Now you can say, sir, why we are considering in silty clay? So I already, uh, already explained this thing because that permeability of silty clay will be less. And this sudden load, ki wajay se, that excess pore water pressure is unable to dissipate out. And that's why we have to consider this excess pore water pressure in the calculation of this effective stress. So that answer will be like uh, C over here. Okay, beta? Thank you so much.